Well, I've always been interested in the Arthurian legends, right back from my teens, um, and I've always wanted to do my own version of it. But the trouble is there have been so many other versions of it, and many of them are so good, full of magic and, and, and fantasy and wonderful things. Um, I, couldn't really, I couldn't really go there, I couldn't quite do that, so I've had to try and find my own way of doing it, and I've chosen to portray Arthur in the time when he might actually have existed, which is the time just after the Romans had left Britain and everything was starting to fall apart, and I've made him a rather thuggish, minor warlord, um, sort of a gangster, basically. I, I did think of it while I was writing it as a, as a gangster movie and that's the way he behaves, and it's all seen through the eyes of a young girl who gets caught up in his little war band, and she spends some of her time disguised as a boy, and some as a girl, and she um, she sees all the the things that we now know as the elements of the Arthurian legend, and she, she sees what, what really happened. So it's kind of Arthur the true story, supposedly. Well, what lies at the heart of Here Lies Arthur is the question of if Arthur was just a thuggish little gangster, how come we know him as this great, wonderful king? Um, and I decided that the reason is that he had a spin doctor, like modern politicians do, somebody who, who sort of tells his story and puts out all the good things about him and covers up all the bad things about him and, and makes up um, things to, to, to prove that he's something more than he is. And the first point where we see this in the story is, is quite close to the beginning, where um, Arthur um, and his, his spin doctor, Merlin, who, who we know as Merlin, are trying to convince a bunch of sort of rival pagan warriors that, 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 that the, the gods, the old gods of the, the waters and the woods are on Arthur's side. And to do this, Merlin has, has the heroine Gwynna um, hide un or duck down underneath a lake and hold up a sword for Arthur to take. And, and so she becomes the Lady of the Lake, who, this, this incident as it's played on through history and through Merlin's stories, um, becomes the Lady of the Lake, passing Arthur the sword Excalibur.